is our last song. All Native people are known to pray from waking up until going to bed. Everything involves God. When we say we put God first, our ancestors and our people always did. They prayed before sunup. They prayed when they were cooking. They prayed when they went hunting. They prayed um, for their children. They prayed when they fixed food, um, hide, build in their goan, um, we call it, awetiyip. They sang songs for, for that as well. When they got medicine, they prayed for that. So everything involved prayer. Everything was intermingled and a part of God. And that's how our people saw it. And it's a beautiful way to view the universe and all that is and all that was and all that will be. And that's how our native people, the Apache people as well, view the universe. At the end of our prayer, the end of our dance, you see us turning this direction. We honor the universe because the sun travels this direction. We follow the sun, which is a part of the beautiful creation of the universe. When we turn, we ask the Creator that all resources that He made available to be a better person, to be a servant for Him, be available to us and become a part of us. It's more than just saying amen. It's more than that. And I just wanted to teach you that because the Apaches turn when they finish praying and we, we are honoring the Creator and, and the universe as well. This last song usually involves the entire community. In any ceremony when our angels, when they have their crowns, their evergreens to represent everlasting life, their strands to represent their wings, just the way they are, they, they travel, their spirits travel back and forth from heaven to be with us back and forth. And so when they are leaving the last song, we usually offer a community prayer. In our prayer, in our hearts and in our mind, we just string a lot of things together. Everyone has needs. You have a need. You might have lost a job, or maybe you're worried about a job. Uh, you might be expecting um, a child. Um, your family member might, might be sick. You might have lost a loved one, and it's really difficult time to grieve and to, to find a way to be without that loving person. All of these things we pray for, and we pray for ourselves, everyone who's present here, even someone you might, might have been struggling with, especially your enemy, you pray for that person, that, that the Creator will be there, that they will fulfill their path, as we ask the same thing for ourselves, that we will fulfill what it is that um, God had planned, His master plan. How do we fit in there? And we pray, is it this way? Is it that way? Do we take a step back, forward? Whatever it is, we're asking the Creator to be with us at this time. And don't forget the contestants. Um, the outgoing uh, queen as well, all the royalty who are representing your nation. Um, include them in your prayer and include our group as well. Our group has started several years ago with nothing. We, these people, do their own fundraising to travel. And it costs a lot today to travel, but some of them have been to Washington, D.C., a huge group, maybe 40 or more of us have traveled to San Diego. We'll be traveling there again um, in February or April. And this weekend, once we get back, we just do our laundry repack and head out to Prescott to celebrate Arizona coming um, a state. They're starting that, and I'm glad that they're making the Apaches a part of it because we have a history. No matter how difficult it was, how we struggled, 
how we came out with less than what we had before. All of that is our history, and so I'm glad that they're making this group a part of the celebration that they call Arizona State uh, Celebration. So stand up, everyone, and pray. And at the end of the prayer, if you want to turn around and celebrate what the Apache celebrate, um, you can go ahead and do so. And thank you for inviting inviting us.